Tonight is the season premiere of two awesome ABC shows, Grey's Anatomy, Station 19. They have a crossover event happening and I spoke with two of the stars, Chandra Wilson and Jason George, about what we can expect. Have a look at this. Tonight on 7ABC, it is a crossover premiere event of a couple of our fave shows. Joining us on AM Buffalo is Chandra Wilson, who plays Dr. Miranda Bailey on Grey's Anatomy, and her TV husband, Jason George, who plays Ben Warren on Station 19. Do you, you know what? Do you ever have people come up to you on the streets when you're with other people and go, where's your husband? Where's your wife? Hang on, you're oh wrong. why are you holding her hand? Yes. All the time, and, I, and that's where I, you just you just take them gently by the. You say it's so nice to meet you, for real, in the real world. <laughs> you say she's back over there on TV. <laughs> she, she's in TV. We're here in the real world. But it's oh my gosh! Wow. Well, the episode is pretty real. I mean, it's COVID is a leading. I don't know, a leading lady, man? What is it? Yes, we call it number one on the call sheet on our show. We've got a little snippet to play and it's when Miranda sees Ben for the first time in a while and it's really dealing with those, the separation, like so many people were separated during the pandemic, which is still going. So let's take a look at this little snippet right now. It's really, really beautiful mm -hmm. moment. Mom! Miranda! My boys! <laughs> what? Oh. Benjamin Warren, you are a sight for sore eyes and back and feet. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> oh, Rosalind, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, how are we doing on time? We're about there. Thank you, Love Dr. you, Bailey. Thank you. The best. You, you guys, you guys, it's time. So that really is a, a beautiful moment. But oh my goodness, what on earth is it like dealing with filming during the pandemic? We got to a point where decisions had to be made about how are people going to be able to return to work. So with that in mind, uh, we have just massive safety protocols in place uh, because number one, we have to keep everyone safe while being able to bring everyone back to work and to be able to get this product out to you. So, you know, with the built in uh, content of having to wear masks, that was really helpful for us. The nasal swab test is happening on the regular and it's the, the brain tickler. But the reality is, I mean, it's like with everybody, the inconveniences that we have in order to stay safe, when you see what people go through when they actually get sick, when you recognize that you're taking care of other people by wearing your mask, it, 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 the inconvenience is nothing. Having to play these characters going through a really intense experience that everybody in the world's gone through so far, what hope do you take from that? Um, you know, it's so interesting because I don't know what the end of the story is, right? We don't know what the end of this pandemic story is. We we just had an election, but we don't know the end of the story. We know that the end of 2020 is coming very soon. But you know, it, 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 I, I, this is a moment in time when I really don't know what the next month is going to look like. Um, and, and that really has been the reflection in the storytelling. But I do love the fact that that uncertainty that everybody feels, we bring that onto the show. And when you feel uncertain, you, you look to your people. And Grays and Station 19 are all about really locking up with your people. And that's what people I think have had to do during the pandemic. And that's what you're gonna see them do on the show. This series that we need to watch to help us through like the end of 2020 into 21. Some normalcy. Thank you both so, so much. <laughs> really looking forward to the crossover event tonight on Channel 7. We'll see you on our TVs. Thanks. We'll see you there.